You've probably seen these animated AI videos going viral recently. But here's the thing. Most people are still using complex tools to stitch together short clips and then hoping for the best. Fortunately, you can now create entire animated scenes just like this without having any limit on how long the video can be. And the best part? You can do it all within one simple tool. And Mira is going to show you exactly how. You see, AI filmmaking is moving incredibly fast. And honestly, creators who don't adapt to these new tools are being left behind. My name is Mira, and I make animations for a living using only AI. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact technique that people are using to create these long AI animations that are pulling in millions of views. At the end of the video, I'll even include a little trick I always use that will take your AI animations to the next level. Now, the first step to create amazing long AI animations is to generate the starting frame of our video. We'll be using OpenArt since it is the best all-in-one platform with every AI model included. So head over to OpenArt homepage and click on Image. From here, we're going to select Seedream as the model since it has amazing prompt adherence. So for the prompt, I want to go with a cute Pixar-inspired girl character. Here's the full prompt. Here, I describe my character, her age and facial expression, and her hair. You want to be as descriptive as possible because this will be our most important image. Now we just need to select our aspect ratio, which is going to be 16 by 9. And for our resolution, let's go with 4K after generating a few different images. This one is definitely my favorite. And now that we've got our starting frame, we're ready to move on to step two. In this step, we're now going to use the image that we just generated to start off our video. So click on video and make sure you have image to video selected. From here, we need to select the AI model. For this example, we'll be using VO 3.1 as it's one of the best video models available right now. We upload our image here, which will become the first scene of our AI animation. Now, for the prompt, we need to be careful not to include too much dialogue as the maximum duration for each generation is only eight seconds. Here's our finished prompt, and the prompt style I'm using is called Timeline Prompting. This prompting style really helps the AI to understand the sequence of events so I can have more control over the generation result. As you can see, this prompting style is structured in different components. First, we have the aesthetic style, which in this case, we're using a Pixar animation style. Second, we have lighting and look. I've included a dramatic warm and cold contrast. Thirdly, we have color palette. This helps break down the specific types of colors that make up our visuals. Lastly, we have the camera directions, which helps the flow of the video. Now that we've made our prompt, we just need to decide on our output settings. I use VEO 3.1, have the audio on, select the best resolution and video mode, and this is what we generated. You've probably seen these animated AI videos going viral recently. But here's the thing. If you like the result, just wait until the end of the video where I reveal the trick I use to make things even better. Right now, you're probably wondering how we extend the video to create those long animations. Don't worry, the process is really simple. You see, all we have to do is click on the video we just generated. Click on grab frame to video and then select grab last frame. If you're not quite happy with the last frame of your video, you can click grab any frame to select a specific frame. Now that we've grabbed our new start frame, we keep all settings the same but change our prompt. Here's the prompt I'm using for the next scene. When we combine both generations, this is the result. But here's the thing. Most people are still using complex tools to stitch together short clips. Now you know how to extend your animations. All you have to do is repeat this process as many times as you want in order to create animations that are as long as you need them to be. Here's what a full 30 second video looks like. You've probably seen these animated AI videos going viral recently. But here's the thing. Most people are still using complex tools to stitch together short clips and then hoping for the best. Fortunately, you can now create entire animated scenes just like this without having any limit on how long the video can be. And the best part? You can do it all within one simple tool. And Mira is going to show you exactly how. But wait, remember how I said I had a trick you could use to improve the quality of your animations? If you want full control over how a scene starts and ends, you can actually generate a secondary image to use as the last frame. I'll show you how it works. Just use your usual settings and upload your start frame. But this time, you're also going to click on the end frame button and upload the image you'd like the video to end on. Here's the end frame that I'll be using for this example. And here's the prompt I'll be using.
Just like that, you've got a video that starts and ends exactly how you want, and now you can extend the video as long as you want using everything you've learned in this video. It helps that you can do everything within one tool like OpenArt. So if you guys wanna try it yourself, click the link in the description. Now, you know how to create long and seamless animated videos using AI, but here's where it gets crazy. Using this technique for animated videos is just the tip of the iceberg. You can apply the exact same concept to any type of video you want. For example, people have been going viral by using realistic AI videos to prank their parents. If you wanna prank your parents too, click the video on screen right now.